Welcome to Sacred Space for the Unloading Essential Oils. My name is Ed Daly, I'm the Director of Global Education and Young Living. Occasional stress and nervous tension are one of the things that our culture is facing, and this whole week we've been focusing on sequences to help combat that. And so today we're going to focus on a practice that really works the back of the legs, the hamstrings, the adductor muscles, as well as your calves. If you don't have frankincense and valor, please grab those. And when you're ready, let's everybody stand up. Let's start with taking a drop of frankincense and placing it on our left hand. In the standing in mountain pose, just create a scent tent and have some sense of gratitude as you take a soft inhalation, a soft exhalation, and then just notice the pause at the end of the exhalation. The gratitude towards having this wonderful oil that our founder Gary worked so diligently to go and get so that we could have the best essential oils in the world. Let's start with the movement sequence. So we're going to start with our knees bent, and what we're going to do is we're going to inhale the arms up over the head and then come on to the top of the toes and then exhale, bend the knees, arms down. Good. Inhale here, exhale down. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it, and then exhale. Good. Step our feet wide. Turn the left foot in 15 degrees, turn that right foot at 90 degrees. From here, just inhale the arms parallel to the ground. And then on an exhalation, go ahead and take the right hand down to the shin, the ankle, or the floor. Beautiful. In the back leg, from the groin all the way to the inner heel, see if you can lengthen the inner leg any amount. And you can feel in the front foot here, with the foot in plantar flexion, it helps to fire that calf muscle. Beautiful. On an inhalation, come up. Let's reverse our feet. Right foot in, left foot out. Inhale, the arms parallel to the ground again. On an exhalation, again, to the shin, the ankle, the knee, the floor, whatever is available for you today. Again, the back leg, you're lengthening from the groin all the way down to the inner ankle. Beautiful. Lengthen the spine, extend through the fingers. Inhale, come up. Let's just walk our feet together. Again, feet about hip width distance apart, bend the knees. Five times, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Every time you come up, you're actually firing those calf muscles. Beautiful. Inhale, exhale, one more. Inhale, and then exhale. Rub your hands together. Let's inhale and exhale the frankincense again. Soft inhalation, soft exhalation, observing the pause at the end of the exhalation. And as Colleen and Rodney reminded us on Monday, this is really where the magic is, where we, we can feel the, the letting go of any built-up tension. Beautiful. Step your feet wide again. Left foot in, right foot out. We're really going to work the legs because that energy from the stress that we feel tends to live above our necks. We really want to get down into the legs. Inhale, the arms parallel, arms parallel to the ground. As you bend your right knee to make a square, track the right kneecap towards the fourth and fifth toe. Then eventually you want the knee directly above the ankle. And then from here, imagine you're just leaning back against the wall, the upper body. Beautiful, extending through the arms, feeling that inner groin of the left all the way down to the inner ankle, that lengthening, and a lifted chest. Beautiful, relax the arms, straighten the right leg, turn the right foot in, turn the left foot out. Again, I inhale my arms parallel to the ground. As I bend my left knee, I track it towards that fourth and fifth toe. And then from here, again, leaning back slightly. Try, if you can't get the leg to 90 degrees, don't worry about it. Any amount of bending is actually good. And then lift the chest, everybody. Lengthening the back inner leg from the inner heel to the groin. Beautiful. Relax the arms, turn the left foot in, let's walk our feet together. Again, feet about hip width distance apart. Inhale, exhale.
One more. Beautiful. Rubbing your hands together again. Soft inhalation, beautifully soft exhalation, and the pause, the juice at the end of the exhalation. Let's do extended side angle pose. Feet wide again, left foot in, right foot out. As we bend the right knee and make a square, again, tracking towards that fourth or fifth toe, let's just take our elbow right up on top of our right knee and turn the palm up. This actually externally rotates the upper arm bone. From here, we root the back leg and then take the left arm up by the left ear. And then turn any amount with the torso, really grounding that back heel, opening up the back left leg. Beautiful. On an inhalation, come up, straighten the right leg. Let's do the other side. Right foot in, left foot out. Bending the left knee mindfully. Again, sacred space is mindfulness practices. That left elbow goes on top of that left knee. We turn the palm up. And one side may be a little easier than the other, and that's fine. So just bend that elbow. Go ahead and take the right arm up by the right ear now. Really lengthening the inner back leg. And then turn any amount. On an inhalation, come up, shimmy the feet together. Again, let's do our simple movement sequence again. We start with knees bent, inhaling up to the toes, exhaling down. Beautiful. Let's try warrior one. This time, as we turn the back foot in, we're going to turn it in a little bit more. So about 45 degrees. We're going to turn that right foot out. As we bend the right knee and make a square, imagine that you keep lifting the sides of the torso and the back leg keeps rooting. From here, just inhale the arms above the head. And keep the attention in that back leg. Again, lengthening from the inner heel of the back leg to the groin and really opening up the channel of the back leg itself. And then look up any amount. Good, relax the arms. Turn your right foot in, turn your left foot out. Again, that back foot turns in 45 degrees, everyone. That's super important. It helps to rotate the pelvis a little bit. As we bend the left knee and make a square, sometimes we have to adjust where we place our feet. Inhaling the arms up over the head. Again, lifting the chest, rooting the back leg as much as you can. Breathing freely, breathing easily. And here, just begin to notice the inhalation, notice the exhalation, and maybe through a pause at the end of the exhalation. We release the arms, left foot in, step our feet together. Let's do our movement sequence one more time. Inhale, exhale. Beautiful. Let's do a standing forward bend now. So I'll turn sideways here. I'm just going to straighten my mat out. And start with our knees bent slightly. And then go ahead and straighten the legs. And then just inhale the arms up over the head. Good lengthen through the torso, through the spine. Open up the back of the legs by drawing the kneecaps up the front of the leg. And then the next leg, you just swan that over your legs and grab the toes if that's available. And if it's not, you can grab the Angles, you can grab the shins. You could do a half standing forward bend. For those who can, grab the toes. As you inhale and press the inner heels and lengthen up to the groins and both legs, lengthen the spine. Beautiful. Exhale, just fold over your legs into a standing forward bend. Opening up the back of the legs. And what actions do you have to do in your body to make that happen? Beautiful. On an exhalation, just place the head on the top of the thighs, walk them up completely, and just pressing down the top of the thigh bones. Pressing down the top of the thigh bones. You feel like, okay, I'm just going to lower my buttocks a little bit. Any amount is fine. Pressing the top of the thighs. Good, and then inhale the arms up into chair pose. 
lengthening that spine, weight even on both feet. As you inhale, come up, just do a little bit of a back bend. Exhale, release the arms down to the side. Let's do a wide angle standing forward now. So I make sure that I don't have duck feet. I want my feet pointed directly towards the camera. It may be even turned in slightly, the heels turned out slightly, the toes pointed inwards, just a little bit. You take your hands on your pelvis, and then just spill forward and place the fingers on the ground. Now for some of you, this is where you may stay. For those who can, grab the big toes again. Grab the big toes, and almost like you're pulling the big toes up a little bit as the inner heel presses down, and you lengthen up this beautiful channel of the legs to the groin. And then go ahead and just cascade the torso through the center of the legs. So maybe what straightens the legs is the press of the inner heel into the ground and the groins moving back towards the wall behind you. As you inhale, come up upright the torso. Let's go ahead and step the feet together again. One more time, let's do our simple movement sequence. This is such a great sequence. I do this many times in airports if I'm feeling a little bit of tension because of travel or whatever. But it's a great way because it really fires the calf muscles. So again, bending the knees, inhale the arms up over the head, come onto the toes, exhale. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Beautiful, everybody. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Inhale, hold this one, hold it, lift the heels a little higher if you can, lift them a little higher, lift them a little higher, lift the chest, beautiful, exhale, release the arms down to the side. I really felt that in the lower calf as I did that. Okay, everyone, let's have a seat. Taking your legs out in front of you, just lean back a little bit. And turn the fingers away from your feet. And as you press the hands into the ground, just feel like the lift of the chest helps to drop the groins a little bit and then open up the back of the legs. And just ask how much contact of the back of my legs can I get with the ground? It's always a bit of a challenge with my legs, you know, getting them to straighten. So any amount and we don't want to overwork as we're doing these practices, especially if you're new to yoga. It's really not about the stretch. It's about the mindful movements that we create and the mindfulness that we have as we're doing the pose. Beautiful. Go ahead and take your feet wide, everybody. And rather than coming forward today, what we're going to do in this seated wide angle forward bend is we're going to take our fingers in a prong position behind us. And we're going to go ahead and we're just going to put the, press the fingertips into the ground. And again, the lengthening of my spine helps to inform the contact of the back of my legs with the ground. So that's what I'm asking. That's what I'm searching for. That's what I'm being mindful of as we're doing this practice today. Beautiful. Spread the toes, extend the toes. And let your gaze be soft. Beautiful. Grab the knees, bring the soles of the feet together. And as you bring the soles of the feet together, everyone, just feel like, okay, I'm gonna scoot my sitting bones a little bit closer towards my feet. And as I almost, almost I'm trying to pull my feet towards my belly. Mm -hmm. And if your knees don't bend right, that's okay. It's really, again, not about how much you can stretch. It's really about the mindfulness you embody as you're doing your practice. And so even here in cobbler's pose, can, can we lengthen our spines? And can we feel the inhalation, the exhalation, and the pause at the end of the exhalation? Beautiful. Bring the knees together, extend the legs out. Okay, now if you don't have a strap, everyone, you can use um, a towel. 
or you can get really ingenious. I have an old ace bandage here. So we're gonna, we're gonna do reclined leg stretch. So we're gonna lie down on our backs. We're gonna start with our knees bent. I'm gonna take my ace bandage and I'm gonna loop it around my right foot. And I'm gonna keep the left knee bent for now. And I'm just gonna hook my hands around so that I have good control of it here. And what I'm looking to see, can I lengthen this channel as much as possible, but without overworking it? We're not tugging so much with our arms. Our arms are here just almost like training wheels. And then from here, go ahead and extend the leg out. Extend the leg out. Lengthening through both legs equally, make the legs very up. Good, and then on your next exhalation, just lift your head, neck, and chest up off the ground towards the right knee, almost like you're looking down between your legs at the left foot. Beautiful. Undo the strap or your ace bandage, place the feet on the ground. You're bending the left knee into the chest, loop the left leg now. So I get my left leg ready and to go, and again, we're not pulling so much with the arms. Opening the back of the left leg, I then extend the right leg. Both legs working evenly. No tension in the neck. Free and easy. Beautiful. Now go ahead and just take your right foot back up in there. Take the strap in the right hand. And then just, let's just drop the right leg out to the side, just a little bit too. Again, it's not about going into the maximum. Just dropping it out to the side. The left hand maybe stays on the belly, just feeling if there's any tension in the belly. Bringing the legs back to center. Put the left foot in now. Grab it with the left hand. And then drop the left leg out to the side. You bring the leg back into center, undo the strap, good, roll to your side, let's sit up. So I'm going to take one blanket here, if you don't have blankets, don't worry about it, it's okay. And I'm just going to unfold it, I'm going to take my other blanket up top, I'm going to unfold that for a little support of my head. I'm going to take my Valor now, and this is a, a little trick that I learned uh, a while back that I really love to, instead of using a cotton pad, many times I just take the valor and I make my chest the diffuser. So I'm just rubbing it on the, my upper chest and my sternum so that as I'm laying in constructive breast, we'll begin to uh, let those odorant molecules percolate into my senses. So I'm gonna lie down on my back. And again, notice where my feet are placed. My heels are on the ground. My toes are on the blanket. I'm gonna widen my feet just a little bit and then let the knees drop together. From here, just take both hands to your belly as you gently close your eyes. Notice the soft inhalation. Notice the beautiful exhalation. And then feel the sweetness of the pause at the end of the exhalation. Inhale, exhale, pause. Inhale, exhale, pause. Sipping, sipping the odor and molecules of the beautiful grounding valor. Just another minute, soft inhalations, beautiful exhalations, and the pause at the end of the exhalation, the reward that we get for our practice today.
Keep it buzzy. Take your next exhalation. Just take the right arm above your head. Just roll it over to your right side. And then use your arms to help you sit up. And just rub your hands together again. Just inhale. You know, this week on our second anniversary of Gary's passing, one thing that I would love to share with you all about what I knew about that man is that whenever he spoke to you, you always felt that you were the most important person in the room. And he was able to really not be engaged in any of the external distractions around him and focus on you as a human being. And so I hope that these sacred space practices are helping you to focus on yourself give you a sense of self-care during the middle of the day. And we're so grateful that you're joining us. We're so happy that you were with us. And join us again tomorrow as Stacey Van leads us again in a wonderful kids class. Thank you so much for being here today, everyone. We really appreciate you and have a great rest of the day. Thank you.